Sometimes you complain about the education system or about the schools, about the teachers, about we complain about a lot of things, but it's time we step up as parents and then we take um, our position and we take and we play our role in our kids' life, in our kids' education. It's time we step up and we say, if the teacher can't do it, I'll do it. Or even if the teacher can still do it, I'll still do it. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in on this video i'm going to share the flashcards that i use for my uh, alphabet sounds for objects shapes numbers the flashcards that i um, i use for my kids to teach my kids flashcards can be used for a number of things you can use flashcards for alphabets to teach them the alphabet sounds or for shapes, for numbers, colors, sports, um, you can use them for a number of things, body parts, whatever information that you want them to, to grasp um, quickly and that, that's something that doesn't change, it's like that's one is one, it will never change. I have this basket right here, okay, I have a video where um, I have a video where I was showing you guys about this brain box uh, game. I will link it up here. They, I will link it up um, for you guys to see it. So basically, this is a brain box um, board game, but I use it for the game. But I also use the flashcards for objects and for letter sounds. You can use it for letter sounds and for objects, but I have other ones as well. So I'm just going to show you guys quickly. These are the flashcards from the from the brain box game and then as you can see they have the capital letter and a small letter for the alphabet and then they have different objects that starts with that letter sound so i use this to teach them the different um the different objects and it's it's very good for vocabulary and then it also helps for a child to understand the letter sound because now they know that this is and it's house hippo head hand so then they they get to understand the letter sound and also see it in application in, in real life basically and then so you can use this for the objects you can use this for just the this flash cards like this is e j and so on so this is the first sets that i use and then I also have these ones these I actually bought this from the auction <laughs> like true story I bought this from the auction and I think it was like either 15 rand or 25 rand but it was very cheap and it was still in good condition because I've had it for I think for two years now so this one I use it for this I use for the letter sounds I don't focus on the object because it's just one object so I'll just use it for the letter sounds ah, t, s, r. I just use it for that and then if maybe you're dealing with the little one or you don't want them to you don't want to give them a lot of um, objects names that start with the letter sound so you can you can use those ones as well r for reds and or for ostrich a for egg and so on so I use this for that and then I have my own <laughs> I have my own I've created my own flash cards uh, here I have one for numbers and then one for shapes and then the other one for the for the alphabets this one what i like about them is uh it's my handwriting so the child can see how to write this and it's the simplest font that you can think of that you would use in real life if you were to write and uh, that's another thing that you must be careful about with the flashcards with for example the ones from the brain box they don't use the same font as the ones from these other flashcards and it's so important to to take notes of what font to use because you know this is the normal a but you know when you type like if you're using arial 
or most of the, the fonts from Microsoft to it, they will write the A like that, you know, and it can be very confusing for a child or maybe they write a G facing the other way. So you, you must be careful if you want to type them out, be, uh, be careful, just use the simplest font that um, won't confuse the child. And then as they grow older, you can then introduce them to the other ones because the ones for brain books, um, I use those mainly for my five-year-olds because now I can tell them that this is still K even though it has that loop and this is still G even though it's facing the other direction and this is still A, you do understand, even though it's, it's just explained to them that it's a different form but it's still the same um, alphabets. This is the third um, set of flashcards that I use for alphabets. And these ones, as you can see, I wrote them on a piece of paper. And then um, I'll link a video. I'm not sure whether this video will go before the video where I show how I make my flashcards. But I will link the video here once it's ready. So this one, it's still, it's just straightforward. It's the alphabet sounds, you know. So it's basically the alphabet and then you're just practicing the sounds and I use the village cards to practice the alphabet sounds and then I use the charts to practice the alphabet names like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This one is for numbers. I have 1 to 20. So you can see I, I just wrote the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. The last one that I have here is the shapes. These are the shapes that your child needs to know, let's say, before they're like five, six years old. So you start doing this, you, you can do this, it can take like less than five minutes because this is how I do it. It's a triangle, square, rectangle, circle. I'm going to show you guys in a video um, my kids doing these shapes and the numbers and the letter sounds. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, okay. One. Speak louder, baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay. And then, now we're doing the shapes. Triangle. The triangle. Square. Square. Rectangle. Rectangle. Circle. Circle. Diamond. Diamond. Mm. Pentagon. Pentagon. Mm -hmm. Hat. Hat. Star. Star. Over. Over. This is a hexagon. 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 It has six sides. The pentagon has five sides. The hexagon has six sides. See? Let's do the letter sounds. A. Uh, do. Louder, baby. Stand properly. Louder. A. K. K. H. I. J. K. Let's have some. K. 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 H. I. I. O. P. K. R. T. T. A. V. V. X. Y. Z. What sound does this make? Oh. What is this? Banana. Books. Baby. Ball. Good. This is okay. What sound does this make? Huh. What is this? Hand. And this? House. And this? Hats. And this? Ah, I don't know. Hippo. Hippo. Yes. Hippopotamus. Yes. This. What sound does this make? Mm. What is this? Um, milk. Milk. And this? Monkey. Monkey. And what is this? 
I don't know. It's money. Money. Mm -hmm. And this is a map. Map. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do. Now let's do this one. Brr. Brr. What is this? Um, rabbits. A rabbit. It's eating carrots. Can you see? Yes. And then what is this? Rainbow. Rainbow. If it's raining, it's coming. Yes, when it's raining, you it see the rain. rain. Yes, when it's finished raining, then you see the rainbow. Mm. Good. And then what is this? Ring. Ring. Who has a ring? You. <laughs> and then this? Ah, I don't know. It's a raspberries. Raspberries. Mm -hmm. And this is a rockets. Rockets. Yes. High five, my fingers. I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a massive thumbs up and then uh, share the video with your friends, comment on the video, even if you just watch it, just say done, you have watched it. And then I highly appreciate your support. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until the next time.